this concho belt from Navajo artist John Yazzie is special for a couple of reasons. John and I started collaborating a few years ago, um, mainly from my frustration that I wasn't seeing really wonderful classic jewelry and I was getting to where I wasn't enjoying the jewelry because um, it, it was more and more difficult to find great pieces and here is John who is right in our backyard who was classically trained by Raymond Yazzie at the Navajo Arts and Crafts Cooperative in the making of really solid Navajo style jewelry and so what you end up seeing in John's work because of this training he, w he was so well taught um, and, and when I had talked to John a couple of months ago about what is it about your jewelry what is it that you were taught and he said first of all they said get the measurements right make sure that when you are creating these pieces that you get everything lined up and balanced with each other so that in the end by following those measurements you end up with a beautifully balanced piece whether you're talking about a single bracelet or you're talking about something like this belt that has ten conchos and ten butterflies that match up beautifully with each other. My mother gave me her belt and it was a lot of the mo motivation for creating this belt because I wanted to see something being made that matched up to the quality of, of this 50 year old belt which had a substantial gauge of silver. When you look at the silver work, the stamp work, it's clean, it's beautifully lined up, and you see this not just in one of the conchos but throughout the entire piece, and that this is the type of piece that in owning it, it will look great from day one, but 100 years from now it will look fantastic, and that's the type of thing which you should look for when you are purchasing a fine piece of jewelry is its ability to remain classy and classic over time.